All right, so this is a goey horse, hopefully. So he keeps trying to go fast. He's well gated. I don't have to really work on his gait. So I just got to work on his brain. I'd like to keep him slower than this. Walk. So I keep telling him walk, and every time he gets faster, I make a circle. He puts his head down nicely now, which is good. If he was popping it up, then I'd put some pressure on it. But I'm trying to get it so he can walk around on a looser rein, like this. Good boy. But he's not able to do that right now. Oh, only for a second. So we're going to do a turn on the forehand. Any horse that's really sensitive, you don't have to use much leg. If you use too much leg or anything, it's kind of overkill. Um, you know, it's like having the music. You want to hear the music, but not super loud, and somebody keeps cranking it way up. So with the horses that are sensitive, um, I ride them with my mind a lot. I think, what do, what do I want to do? And a lot of times they'll pick that up. You keep your body relaxed and um, you got to practice going slow. And the easiest place to do that is either around your home, in your pasture, if in an arena, if you got one. See, he sped up because he's paying attention to the horses over there. Apparently, I'm not uh, important. So it's fine if they're running. See his excitement level come up. His ears are focused at them. He's not at, towards me at all. The horses are looking at cows or a dog or something. So it's fine because we got to get them over it. Yesterday, some kids were playing right by the arena. So, you know, you can't stop the world from moving. So you got to get your horse used to the world moving. So anytime he feels fast to me, I'm making a small circle, small. If it's big, it's not going to slow them down. Oh, there's a horse up there talking to them. Um, so, well, my concept for today, or my goal for today, is just to walk around this arena slow. I did my leg yielding, I, you know, taught him, worked on backing up, we did our turn on the forehands. So now instead of gating right now, which is what I usually go to, go oh boy, is I want to work on just walking slow. And if he were to stop, I would just let him have a break. Yeah, I don't really care what it, his head is as long as it's not sky high. So if it's down, that's good because that's more relaxation. Walk. He's not too bad. Of course, every time you go towards their stalls is where they get faster. They don't want to go. And then going away, they're usually slower. So if I can ride him on a looser rein, I'm gonna. And then in time... You know, hopefully his head won't be on the ground like this. <laughs> but for now, any try that he gives me, and he's going slow, I'm going to let him do it and just kind of relax. Okay. okay, so he's doing really good, and then he just sped up, so I just made a circle. So anytime he does the right thing, good boy! What a good job! Do your little baby talk, or a little rub, but sometimes rubbing the sensitive horses will make him go faster. So, and I'm just sitting here, I'm not using any leg at all. Nope. So, if he's doing the right thing, he's just walking. Good boy. I might rub him, but I rub really slow. Like this. Good boy. Just a little massage. Now he's speeding up, so another circle. So again, he's so used to being on go, he doesn't know anything else, so it's not, it's not his fault. You know, and then you get him and you let him go, because he won't slow down. So they still think it's okay. Good job. So now, go boy. I'm going to go across the diagonal, change our direction. Easy. Now if he speeds up, which he's doing, right? He sped up. I'm gonna make a circle just as I'm going across a small circle. Here we are. Small circle. And go back out. You're trying to do everything gently because if you whip him around, that can also bring up excitement. So you're trying to be the calm one. You ever be with a person who's panicking or they got anxiety, they're scared. 
you gotta calm it down. You're like, you're okay. You're gonna be fine. Mm-hmm. Even if you don't think they're gonna be fine, you gotta tell them that. So, <laughs> nobody wants to hear anything bad. So, same with him. We just gotta stay calm. Just relax. So, I have contact if I need it, because he sped up, and he sped up right there. And before he was on a, a big loopy rain, but he wasn't able to handle it too long. So. so now I just, if he's being good, I just push my arms forward. So that way I don't have any contact. I got a big loop in the rain. Yeah, hopefully you can see that loop. And he's still a little fast, so walk. Good boy. He's like, what is out there? You're like, don't worry about what's out there. So he's still too fast, I think. Again, I'm just trying to do a trail walk, a slow walk, not a gate. I don't want him flat walking. That's better. So if he stays good, I'm going to leave the arena. I'm going to walk around the um, facility. It's a little fast, I believe. Walk. And uh, we're going to just do the same thing. We're going to walk out there and make circles. So I'm picking places to ride, not a single track, where I have somewhere I can uh, make my circles at. So let me sped up. Okay, so I'm going to shut you off while I go one more time around. Hopefully he'll get the idea and then we'll go out if he's good. Uh, arena so I still don't want him to go any faster than this. Slower would be nicer but see what we can get. So he's speeding up. Try it again. Now the excitement was up there so I'm gonna head away from that direction to start. Oh now he's speeding up. Going downhill. Or I can half fault on him and hold him, but it's probably not going to work too well. And then he'll never be able to go loose. So I'll see if I half fault and hold him. He's slowing down, but he's still high headed. So I'm probably going to have to make a million circles around this. He's speeding up. Circle. And if I have space, I'll alternate so I don't forget which, you know, way I'm circling, so I don't work one side more than the other. That's better. His head's up, but he's actually walking slower. Take him the other way. Just because. Right? Because I had a feeling he was going to get faster. Easy. Go boy. So remember when you're riding, you gotta sit back, make sure you're not leaning forward. That'll make them go faster. Hi, and stay relaxed. Good boy. Good job. Now he's a little nervous. Oh, now you're a little slow. Oh. I'm just guiding him with my leg, but I don't really want to push him because I don't want to make him faster. Good boy. Good job, buddy. You're okay. And again, right now, I don't care where his head is because he was pulling a lot yesterday. So if I get to be in his mouth too much, he might get a little anxious or nervous. So. He knows to put his head down. He's just not doing it right now. Good boy. So you can hear him snorting. I don't think he's been on the trail in a while, but not positive. Good boy. And if he wants to stop and look, like he just said, I want to stop and look and see what's going on with the guy over there. And there's two horses and then there's water buffalo. Good boy. I'm going to let him stop because he's always on go, right? So 
so it's okay for him to stop and take a look at stuff, even with older horses. Um, sometimes they've never been allowed to do that. People just run them by stuff, you know? So when they get nervous, they just want to run by it, and they run by it faster, get faster. So I want to know he can stop and look at it as long as he stays okay. And uh, that life is just a big circle, and we're going to stay in the circle <laughs> and learn to go slow. All right, so now we got a downhill, so I'm going to serpentine to try to keep them slow. Speeding up, so how about a circle? Circles on the trail don't always work so well because they speed up way around them. So um, you got to teach it at home first. He's still a little fast, but I want to make a circle to the right. This, I just did it to the left. So you can try circles on the trail, but if it's not working, try your serpentine instead. But my advice is to fix it at home first, because usually this can be the problem, is that they're too motivated to come home, and that's why they're fast. So make home not such a fun place to be. Now we're walking around the facility the other direction. He's going slower, which is good. If he has ADD, every time something is going on, he's got to look at it. So we just got to give him something better to do than staring at it. Yeah, and farting is not one of them. That's what he's doing. Um. Okay, so we'll see how it goes when we go down the hill. And if he wants to stop here and watch that tarp blow, then I'm fine with it. Okay. Okay, so now we'll go downhill. So we... He got very excited, so I'm going to hit the brakes. You're not going out with those guys. Okay, so I'm going to make my serpentine, every time he speeds up, we're going to hit the brakes, right there. But he's good, uh, doing good standing on a loose rein. Good job. I know, you're looking for friends. Sometimes they, you know, when it's a new horse in a new facility, they think there's going to be somebody there they know. So when they're screaming, you know, they're screaming back. But, you know, or they see a certain color horse and they get all amped up. It's usually because they think it's a friend. And once they get up to the horse, they're like, oh, it's not. And then they're back to normal. So this is good. He walked down the hill slower. There, he sped up, so I'm going to stop. Can't really circle that great right here. And he's doing pretty good with the stop and stand. Some of them don't, so you, you just gotta have different tools in your box. You can see. Now he's walking pretty good, pretty slow. We're going to go around again. Go boy! And uh, then I'm going to go to the barn and side pass him over there and um, time up. He needs work on his canter um, too, but um, I think this first week we're just going to have to be walking because he has too much excitement in him and too much go. Good job, buddy. Good boy.
so he decided he wanted to go in the arena. So he is a little bit barn sour because what he wouldn't go in the arena except it cut, cuts across to his uh, stall. So I'm going to circle. I was going to turn the camera off. Yeah. And then we'll give him the option. Where do you want to go? Do you want to go back over here? Let's just circle again then. I might choose to side pass in here if we get in here. Right? So I'm going to let him go. Do you want to go out? Do you want to go out? No, he doesn't. So let's do the little barn sour. Let's be annoying on his mouth. If he tries to head out, then I'm gonna let go and be nice, but if he doesn't, but I'm gonna keep him moving. Nope, so he went this way, so we'll circle this way. See, all sorts of stuff to work on. Barn sour, going fast. So anytime he heads out, I'm gonna be nice. There you go. Now we'll go around. He might try to go in there again. If he does, this time I think I gotta get my side pass on. So I think I might do that in there. And the more we tie him up and the more we make his friends a little bit miserable, the less he'll wanna go over there.